tonight we are having tacos, but these aren't any tacos. They're low fat, they're vegan, they're whole food, they're delicious. You can have a large portion and you won't get that awful stomach ache that you get from when you eat meat. So no meat, no cheese, amazingly delicious. So grab a pen, some paper, and you'll wanna write this down so you can make it later. So we're starting with one red onion that has been diced. We're putting into a dry pan. We do not use any oil. The pan is heated on number four, so it's kind of like a more of a medium, and it's going to cook down in its own juices. We've got a green bell pepper coring it, and we're just cutting this up into bite-sized pieces, so dicing the green bell pepper. Make sure to stir these red onions so they don't burn. So he prefers to use the dry method. I like to use a little bit of water. I usually add a quarter cup of water because I know I'll burn it, but if you're really attentive, you don't need any water at all, or any liquids at all. Adding the green bell peppers to the cooked red onions. They're still sauteing a little bit, cooking them down. This just smells delicious. Next, we're going to core a red bell pepper. We are not going to cook the red bell pepper. We're going to eat it raw on top. He's just slicing them. They're gonna go on top of the tacos. Remember to keep stirring these every couple minutes or so. All right, the red bell pepper slices are all ready. Next, peel the zucchini. I like to remove the skin of the zucchini because it's very bitter. Cut off the ends using two large, or I'd say medium-sized zucchini. So cut them down the middle. We are going to be sauteing the zucchini. So these are chopped, but they're not too small. Transfer the zucchini onto the pan with the onions and the bell peppers because we are going to be cooking these down so they can be soft and savory. So scrape off the bottom, get those flavors incorporated in there. And deglaze it with a little bit of sherry. Oh, that smells so good. This is cooking sherry. Now, if you don't drink alcohol, alcohol just gets cooked out when you are cooking. We've got some red chilies, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of salt, some cumin, a little bit of garlic, powdered onion, some fennel, oregano. Mix the herbs and spices together. For the meat, we are using Bella mushrooms, washing them and removing the stems. Slicing them into bite-sized pieces, just chopping them. I used to hate mushrooms, but I've, I've gotten to like them because if you add certain herbs and spices to it and you've got a nice broth or sauce and you don't overcook them, they're actually really delicious. These vegetables are cooking very nicely, cooking down. Adding the mushrooms to the pan. You want to cook the mushrooms. You don't want to eat raw mushrooms because some raw mushrooms have a toxin in it, but once you cook it, 
then it becomes safe to eat. So always cook all the mushrooms. You can microwave them. Uh, you can put them in the oven. You can put them in the pan. Dehydrating does not really cook them enough. So make sure you cook your mushrooms. We've got some freshly ground black pepper added to it. Pepper is actually anti-inflammatory. So I try to incorporate more pepper into my diet. All right, we've got some chipotle pepper. Oh, spicy, but not too much. Although we do tend to eat really spicy food. We've got some smoked paprika. It's really strong, so just a little bit of a sprinkle. You can see that on there. So not a whole lot. Stir that together. We do like our Mexican food to be spicy though. So if those spices are too strong for you, then omit them. We're adding the drained and rinsed black beans. These, this is two cans. Make sure to stir the beans into the vegetable mushroom mixture. He's adding coconut aminos and hot sauce. Again, keep stirring, letting all the flavors meld together. Does this look good? Yum. All right, we're gonna cover it just to keep everything warm while we prep the rest of the ingredients. We've got some iceberg lettuce. Now some of this is going to be used for lettuce cups and the other is going to be just shredded so you can use it as a topping. So we weren't able to get too much of the lettuce leaves. We only got a couple, so we are adding some cabbage. So what we're going to do, I'm going to actually try putting the tacos in both. I'm gonna do the lettuce cups and I'm gonna try one with a cabbage, call it a cabbage cup. So it'll be interesting, I'll, I'll let you know which one is better. I'm assuming it'll be the lettuce, but it'll be crunchy, I'm excited. I like trying new stuff. Do you want more than one? Yeah, as much as I can. I love these. And now he's just shredding some of the cabbage to go on top of the taco. So if you're eating the lettuce cups or cabbage cups, <laughs> you won't need the shredded cabbage on top unless you want it. So you want to cut them down so it's not too, too big of pieces. So now we have some fresh cilantro that's been washed and he is removing the stems, so it's just the leaves. He's got it on a paper towel, so that is absorbing some of the water. Go ahead and slice these up a little bit. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Fresh cilantro is just Love fresh cilantro. All right, look at the vegetables and the mushrooms. Oh, it looks so good. That's our filling. I'm gonna turn it down to low, just keeping it warm. All right, we're gonna add some organic salsa. Get some more flavor. Stirring the salsa in. So now you've got some tomatoes in with the salsa. Okay, we're gonna add our vegan cheese, nutritional yeast. We 
kind we have is it's just nutritional yeast. It has no salt, no other spices or flavorings in there. What it does is it adds a richness to it, thickens it up, and it adds that cheesy flavor without the cholesterol, extra salt, or fat. So my husband dry toasted his tortillas in the oven. So he had it on broil with the oven door open so it doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> so these are nice and crispy and he's putting some homemade guacamole. Step two, add the filling on top of the guacamole. So he eats more calories than I do and he has more muscle than me, so he can eat more fat than I do. And that is some salsa. The salsa is not homemade, it's just from the store. Just putting some cabbage on top. Now what's interesting is I found that some salsas have oil in them. Isn't that crazy? So always check the ingredients. He's adding the red bell peppers and the cilantro. So here are his tacos. Okay, so I'm gonna have lettuce cups and I'm gonna try one with the cabbage. Adding some of the filling to each of the cups. Okay, so he's adding some guacamole on mine. I just like a little dollop. Actually, I normally don't put that much, but that's okay. I mean, I love guacamole. I just try to reduce the fat. All right, go ahead and add the rest. Just a little bit of salsa. I like it hot. I don't like it terribly hot. Cilantro. Red bell peppers. All right, all right, I'm gonna try the lettuce cup first. I already know I'm gonna like it because I make these like this all the time. Good. Wonderful flavor. The just the right amount of spice and the the mushrooms give it a nice texture the, the meaty texture the rub bell pepper nice crunch it was so hard to describe but it's really delicious i think it's better than meat tacos all right you know, I have not tried a cabbage taco. So let's see what this tastes like. Definitely more fibrous. I've got that thick outer texture to it. Mm, the guacamole, nice creaminess. I'd say they're both equally good. I like the cabbage wrap and I like the lettuce wrap. They're, I'd say they're both equally delicious. Yeah. No. He eats uh, corn tortillas and udon. And it's really up to you what you want to eat. They're both healthy. This is a whole food and this is processed. He's making fun of me right now because I'm using my hands. <laughs> I try to eat whole food all the time to keep my blood sugar more under control. And <laughs> he's still making fun of me. <laughs> if you have autoimmune conditions, you try to eat as whole food as you can. But this is all healthy, all delicious, and I'm gonna finish eating, so. 
see ya. If you want some more low-fat, delicious vegan meals, at the end card, just watch the playlist or check out, or and both, do both, and check out my book. It's called The High Five Diet. It has a whole bunch of whole food, vegan, plant-based recipes that are delicious. It tells you how to transition to a whole food diet, and it has all sorts of tips that I've used that really help me slim down and it's got sheet meals also for help with that transition. My website's thehighfivediet.com. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope to see you soon.